Hey guys, Chris from Axe Effects Tutorials here, and in this video I wanted to quickly talk about this function called Refresh After New Firmware. Let's say you've just updated your firmware to the latest public beta, and you go and click around your edit program, and you choose an amp type, but another one pops up. Or let's say in a parameter with a number value there's a word or something like that, or just something doesn't look right. All this means is that the hardware was updated with the new public beta, but it wasn't synchronized yet with the edit program. Now with official firmware releases, a lot of times this function happens automatically with that new release. But with public betas and some other versions, sometimes this just doesn't happen automatically. So all you need to do is go to settings and click refresh after new firmware. This will bring up the pop-up that says reading block definitions. This occurs when saved definitions do not match those in the connected device. So it's saying the hardware was updated with some new things, but edit doesn't have those yet. Let's just synchronize them. Now don't worry, presets aren't being rearranged, parameters aren't being changed, nothing's being deleted or added on your presets or anything like that. It's just synchronizing hardware and software so the edit program knows what the hardware has. On the bottom, you'll see this communication bar showing you exactly what's going on. And it's just gonna go through all the definition strings of all the blocks it's going to go through your factory cabs and your user cabs just to synchronize those again and make sure everything is on the same page. This can take a minute or two, so what I'll do is I'll click settings, refresh after firmware update, and then I'll go get a glass of water or something, pet a dog, I don't know, and then come back in about a minute or two, it'll be done. Once it's done, the communication bar will go away and you're all set. You don't need to restart anything. You don't need to quit and reopen or power cycle anything. You're just ready to go. Now, let's say you didn't update your firmware, but something just looks off in general. You can do the same function as well. Anytime something doesn't look quite right or not how you remember it, edit, just click settings, refresh after new firmware, wait for it to finish, and then you're ready to go. Now this is the same process for all hardware. So I showed an FM3 and FM3 edit here, but it's in the same place on the AxeFX3 and Axe edit, the AxeFX2 and its Axe edit, the AX8 and the FX8 as well. Just go to settings, refresh after new firmware. Anytime something just doesn't look quite right in the editor, it just synchronizes all the definitions between hardware and software, doesn't change any presets, doesn't delete anything. It's totally safe. Just do that if something doesn't look right and you'll be good to go. All right, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.